Tiger Designer is a component of the Tiger software suite that allows you to fine-tune documents before sending them to a Vplus embosser. Tiger Designer uses files with a .prn extension to show how a document will emboss by displaying dots visually in grayscale on the computer screen. Use Tiger Designer with a Vplus Pro ink attachment or Vplus imprint to preview and edit the ink in Braille. This tutorial will be a basic overview of functions within Tiger Designer. To begin, open Tiger Designer. Go to the Start menu and select All Programs. Tiger Designer will be located in the View Plus tab. Once Tiger Designer is open, open the PRN file you wish to edit. In the File menu, select Open. Navigate to the location where the PRN was saved. Once you have the file located and highlighted, choose the Open button and your document will appear on the screen as it will be embossed. You will notice along the top of your document there is a toolbar that allows you to easily edit your document. If you have printed to a file using the ViewPlus Pro ink attachment or the ViewPlus imprint, you will be able to click the arrow keys in the upper left hand corner of the toolbar to toggle the ink and braille aspects of your document, or you can press F2 to view the ink and braille together. The arrow keys may also be used to navigate through multi-page documents. To the right of the arrow keys are tools for magnification. The magnification glass with the plus sign lets you zoom in for finer detail, while the magnification glass with the minus sign allows you to zoom out for less detail. A series of grayscale squares span across the middle of the toolbar. These shades represent the different dot heights your graphic can include. For example, black, the darkest shade, represents a dot height of 7, whereas white, the lightest square, corresponds to a dot height of zero. There is also a blue colored square which may be used to manually input or edit braille dots in your document. You can change the dot heights within your graphic by selecting the shade you wish to add and selecting one of the drawing tools. The drawing tools are all easily used by left clicking with the mouse where you wish to begin your drawing and dragging the mouse until you have the desired results and then releasing the left mouse button. The drawing tools are located to the right of the grayscale squares and include the pen tool, which allows you to individually draw each dot, the brush tool, which paints a thicker line of braille dots in 3D, the line tool, which will add a straight line, the draw rectangle tool, which will create an outline of a rectangle in the size and shape desired, the fill rectangle tool, that will draw a rectangle with grayscale fill, the draw oval tool, which will create an outline of an oval in the size and shape desired, the Fill Oval Tool, that will draw an oval with grayscale fill. The Flood Fill Tool, which will fill a contained area with grayscale. The Select Rectangle Tool, can select an area of the document to move or copy. For all of the drawing tools, you can adjust the line width by going to Tools in the menu options, selecting Line Width and choosing the size you want. There is also the Braille Label Tool, which allows you to easily add braille labels to your graphic. Simply select the Braille Label tool and use the left mouse button to select where you wish to insert your label. A dialog box will appear asking you to type the text you wish to be translated and inserted into your document. The Braille font you wish to use, for this example I've chosen Braille 29, and the orientation of the label. Once a label has been entered into your document, you can easily use the left mouse button to click and move the label around the page. All of the tools located within the toolbar can also be found in the menu options above the toolbar. Within the menu options you will also see a transform tab. This tab will provide you with options to rotate your image or move the selected item up, down, left, or right. Use negative numbers to move the image left or up. This concludes our tutorial on Tiger Designer functions. To find more tutorials on this and other topics, please visit www dot viewplus dot com